We all had that moment in shows when things are just too good to be true and going so smooth, only to suddenly have the main character betrayed by his friends or allies. In all fairness, it is kind of boring not having such twists in an anime. It's always nice to have a betrayal or two every once in a while. That's why, in today's video, we'll be talking about the top 10 anime where the MC is betrayed and becomes dark. So, before we begin, remember to subscribe if you haven't yet and press that bell icon to stay updated of all the new content we're creating. And beware for the following spoilers. 10. Batum. Speaking of Doom, this death game was more like an introduction to Battle Royale games before they were even a thing. Just like Fortnite and PUBG, the players find themselves inexplicably on an island, stranded with gemstones carved into their hands. The aim of the game is simple. Everyone that can gather seven gems is free to leave the island. Simple, right? Well, not so much, since the only way to do so is to kill the person that owns that gem and add it to your account. So technically speaking, every person will have to kill seven other players to gain freedom from this horrid island. The survival game is actually modeled based based on the video game Batum, with the same name, and the MC is oh so conveniently the reigning champion. So when he realized he is now a real player in the game with his life and many others on the line, he kicked his survival and gamer instincts into overdrive and traversed the island like a pro, gaining allies and beating foes that stand in his way. 9. Devil Man Crybaby In a world where devils can take over human bodies known as hosts, some people are capable of controlling the devils themselves and becoming a devil man. Akira Fodu has always been a person who forgets about himself in order to help others, so he accepts without hesitation when his childhood friend Ryu Asuka asks him for help in uncovering devils. However, to Akira's misfortune, the place they go to is called Sabbath, a night of extreme immoral debauchery and degeneracy. Amidst the blood and death at the event, demons possessing humans and turning them into body horror looking monsters, they quickly begin their carnage. In a haphazard attempt to rescue Ryu, Akira merges himself into Amon and becomes a devil man and gains the power to defeat demons. After becoming devil man, Akira's body enhanced to superhuman levels. In his human form, he has super fast running speeds and enhanced strength, allowing him to beat up five thugs with one arm. As devil man though, he's a force to be reckoned with. His jaw strength helps him tear the flesh off of bodies and his claws let him slice through heaps of enemies. He can leap really high and break his own falls with his wings. He's a literal devil, so I think it's safe to say he definitely has the darkest power in him. 8. Arifaretta, a complete class of teenage students, is isekai to another world as heroes of the nation summoned to battle an impending doom threatening to destroy the world. You know, the usual isekai shenanigans. This MC is given a powerful ability, yet it is useless in an actual fight. In the thick of the battle, as they were retreating from a collapsing bridge, one of the other classmates betrays him and blasts him with a fireball, sending him even deeper down into the dungeon floors, assuming he killed him. But we can't just kill off the main character on episode 1, now can we? Since he's such a lucky bastard, he encounters a killer bear that takes his arm from him and eats it in front of his eyes. I guess he needed a hand, but um boom tss. Please kill me. He later on finds a source of holy water that he drinks from and heals his wounds, as well as starts to feed on the monsters he hunts, which are actually toxic for humans. But you gotta do what you gotta do in order to survive. Long story short, he finds a lowly vampire sealed in that dungeon, frees her, becomes lovers, and leaves the dungeon as an overpowered dynamic duo. Trust me, this show is amazing and worth your time. So go and check it out, and good news, season two is already on the way. 7. Katsute Kami Data Kimono Tachi E to the Abandoned Sacred Beasts It's one of the lesser known anime produced by Studio MAPPA. It aired in 2019 following a military theme and it features action, drama, and fantasy. There's a good amount of violence in this anime, but I don't think it will bother you at all if you're into the action genre. With the Northerners losing the war against the Southerners, they created beings known as incarnates, half humans and half beasts. These creatures quickly overpower the battlefield. However, there was one problem. They were prone to succumbing their beast nature and going wild. With the war over, rumors of incarnates going wild became rampant and so beast hunters started tracking them down. When Nancy Shaw Bancroft sees her father being killed by a beast hunter, she decides to hunt down the beast hunters, but an interaction with the man helps her evaluate her options and she decides to solve the mysteries of the incarnates, finding out the reason why they lose control. 6. I'm Standing on a Million Lives The fantasy anime filled with action and drama premiered in 2020. An antisocial boy who prefers a virtual world to his everyday life in Tokyo is brought into a game world by a popular athlete and his friend. Just like an actual game, their missions get harder and harder as they progress, and while the three of them team up, whoever dies will be brought back to life as far as a team member is alive. In this world, they must find out the mysteries of this virtual world and defeat the game. 
5. Tangan Tapa This isn't much of a rage or loss of control moment, as much as it is a final attack that puts everything on the line. In the final fight against the Anti-Spiral, everything is on the line in this battle, and the Anti-Spiral is a cosmic entity which power is unknown. It is too damn strong. It uses galaxies as freaking Shuriken, while fighting Super Tengen, Tapa Gurren, Legan, Simon, and all his friends put their lives on the line, giving Simon the chance he needs to fight the Anti-Spiral in single combat. The scene itself is breathtaking, and don't you dare even blink for a second or you're gonna miss it. 4. Tower of God The show that gave us the most hated character of 2020, Tower of God, was the Walmart version of Hunter x Hunter that fans didn't ask for, but would take it away because it's free. Seeing Bam go from that crybaby kid who's afraid of everything to one of the biggest chads the Webtoon universe has ever seen is amazing, and it gives the fans what the old anime was all about, changing your own self through hard work, determination, and dedication, while making sure your vision stays clear the entire time. Sure, the first season of the anime ended at a weird spot, leaving behind a lot of questions unanswered, but it's sure to make a return soon, and with things how they are right now, it's safe to say that the hype is going to be real. 3. Cross Ange True, this isn't a romance anime, but the character is hot, badass, and half-naked, so I can make an exception to the rule here, don't you think? In a world divided between magic users and normal humans, a princess is bombarded with the fact that she is a normal human with no magical aptitude whatsoever. Disowned by her family and sent to the army, this girl is raped, beat up, and tortured in an attempt to break her and put her in her place. What does she do? She rises up like a phoenix, reborn from the ashes, and learns to adapt to her new life, training in the Gundam assigned to her to fight the dragon beasts and protect the world from the interdimensional attacks. Two, Claymore. Claire might have been the weakest Claymore in her order, but she was a woman with a mission and nothing better to drive someone than a good old story of vendetta and revenge. Priscilla, the number two strongest Claymore, backstabbed Teresa, the mentor of Claire, as she was protecting her and killed her. Now, Claire is doing her best to become stronger and avenge her mentor by killing Priscilla and completing her vendetta. This show, for those who don't know, is bloody to an extent you can't imagine, and the gore material obviously isn't for those faint of heart. So, you've been warned, guys. 1. Berserk Holding down the top spot is Berserk, and for obvious reasons. Berserk is one of those anime that reinforces the belief that manga is heads and shoulders above anime, because in this case, the anime just doesn't do justice to the source material which everyone regards as a masterpiece. Guts is now marked for death, wielding the Dragon Slayer blade. He must destroy all the monsters coming after him while he seeks vengeance on a former friend and a man he once looked up to. Berserk is a household name in the anime and manga community, and this gore fest is one that will stand the test of time. Time. And with this, we conclude our video. If you enjoyed this list, I want you to smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon to keep you notified of all our new videos. Also, I'd appreciate if you'd go ahead and check out my rap channel. The link will be down below in the description. Also, comment down below on the anime you like the most on this list and if you're planning to watch any of them. And if you have any suggestions, place them in the comments as well. Until next time, see ya!